Sweet Cakes by Melissa in Oregon shut down after refusing to cater a 2013 gay wedding, and Colorado Supreme Court case Craig versus Masterpiece Cake Shop. <laughs> oh, the glamour. Held that a Denver bakery had to make a gay wedding cake for two male clients. That is truly the gayest sounding court case since the landmark Dick versus Butt. Oh yeah, no, I remember that court case. It was a hung jury. Yeah. <laughs> FYI, Trump supports Fada and his cabinet, of course, is now packed with more homophobes than a rave at the 700 Club. <laughs> for the record, <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Mary, Mary, I wouldn't kill any of them. I'd and marry them all. Why do you it, deserve claps for that? Because everyone is so impressed by my constant boner. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very serious problem. It like, it's not medically induced, it's a problem. I yeah. know, but no one can tell. It's like a bird's bees chapstick. <laughs> If thought it passes, and it could, the only way to get fair treatment from homophobic businesses will be to outsmart them. And luckily, it looks like that might be pretty easy to do. So many of you ask me why I love baking so much. And it's simple. I believe that every event in life deserves to be celebrated. Whether it's a wedding between a man and a woman, or an anniversary between a man and a woman, or just a thoughtful I'm thinking of you from a man to a woman, or a woman to a man. What can I say? I'm a traditional baker with a distaste for gay people and a strong taste for ivory interiors. <laughs> now, this week, I challenged you all to submit cake ideas for special events in your life. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do this alone. I invited my dear friend and neighbor and total stud muffin Chester over to help. Hello, Chester. Hello, Sally, your kitchen is to die. <laughs> He's too clever, honestly, he kills me. And totally single, ladies. Hey, you know my philosophy, no wife happy life. <laughs> no, the truth is I'm just really focused on my career. Chester was a semi-professional ice dancer. But enough about Chester, let's get to the cakes. Let's do it. Yes, can you say graduation? Graduation. <laughs> Now, the two brothers who submitted this cake, and I'm assuming they're adult brothers with a joint email address, they requested I bold the first letter of each word to accentuate their pride for the graduate. Congratulations. Oh, Chester, will you look how inventive. Now, these two ladies who operate a local cementary wanted a cake that looked like a pile of muffins with an Olympic diver figurine on top about to dive in. Now, I love anything non-traditional except for people, so muffins seemed like fun. It's not my taste, but I guess if you're gonna dive into a muffin, it might as well be moist. And this one just says Liza. With a Z. Let's move on to the next cake. This is a Western scene with a simple message. Reminds me of that movie. Walker, Texas Ranger. I love that movie. Yeah, me too. And this one was for a hairdresser. I don't get it. Why are the scissors going like this? And finally, my piece de resistance. This gentleman wrote in requesting a traditional black forest cake, and he even supplied the trees. I love how each layer of the trees is darker and broader than the last. Just a Incredible. Oh, it's gorgeous work. And thank you, Chester, for being my guest. Wouldn't miss it, Mama. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>